let's go ahead and keep things moving along. This is a really fun segment. Um, for those of you who like to be entertained or want to be entertainers, uh, let's go ahead and introduce the arts at Victor Valley College. Of course, that consists of our theater, our musical, and our visual arts department. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to, uh, to our virtual welcome week. We have Ed Heberlin, the chair of theater arts, Karen Miskell, chair of our music department, Frank Foster, chair of our visual arts, Chris Shelby, our photography instructor, and Anna Marie Velas, who is our art instructor. Ladies and gentlemen, arts at the Victor Valley College. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ed, I'll go ahead and turn things over to you. Okay. okay. Well, in that turning, I wish you could push my screen on because I'm trying to figure it out. Um, how are you doing, sir? Doing trying... fantastic, Ed. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you should right. see a toolbar and a little picture of a camera. Uh -huh. There you are. It's great to see you, sir. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Thank you. I'm leaning in like you suggested. That's so, it. <laughs> um, well, thank you. Thanks for everyone for this opportunity. Um, before I go into some other things, uh, I still have your thing there. I want to just remind people that we have seven opportunities for excellence for people in the spring semester. Um, we have seven different classes. We have three that are 16 week classes, one that is a 12 week second week set, and then another three that are eight week classes of the second eight week genre. So we have classes that are Zoom and we have one class that's online. We have an introduction to theater class that Jennifer West is teaching. That's one of our very most popular classes. I have a beginning acting class. I have an intermediate acting class. Those are the 16 week classes. I also have a second 12 week class and that will be, it's a theater arts class and it's also an English class, it's cross-listed. In the fall, the English department teaches the class. In the spring, the theater department teaches the class. When it was first written, Polly Fitch, one of the original creators, well, teachers for the college, she created the program, this class. And so then she uh, talked to the English department. And so since then, the class has been split taught. Then in the second eight weeks, we have three classes. Uh, one that I'll talk about first, that is being taught by Tracy Davis. It's an online class for those of you that prefer your classes to be online. And that is history of theater. And you'll have a great time with that. And then the other two classes that will be part of our second eight week classes is the oral interpretation of literature class and the script analysis class. The script analysis class is the newest class that we offer, and we're looking forward to that. In all of these classes, with the exception of introduction to theater and um, theater history, we can incorporate Washington Black. I can incorporate parts of it in the beginning acting class, in their intermediate acting class. Uh, I will also figure out some ways that we can work with in authors of the theater definitely an oral interpretation of literature and in the script analysis, which will be a total blast. The other thing I'm looking forward to incorporating, especially in oral interpretation of literature and even perhaps the beginning acting and intermediate acting is the poetry of Amanda Gorman. You might remember her from the poem she read at the inauguration. She's pretty much set the world on fire. She's the first poet also to ever be asked to read a poem at the Super Bowl. Boy, at the Super Bowl. At least she wasn't reading it at the halftime show. Um, she started things off great in the, anyway. But, um, so we'll do some work with her material. We'll incorporate some work from Washington Black. And so we're looking forward to working with our students. I also want to incorporate some spoken word in some of the materials. So we are here for you. And if you have questions, email me. And uh, hopefully I'll get the email because sometimes I don't. But um, what questions do you got? Did I talk too fast? 
No, not at all. Thank you, Ed. Yeah, we've got lots of opportunities to continue to participate in theater and performing arts. It's really important. Ed, let me ask you, so you've had some time at home right now. Have you been reading any good good plays? Are you uh, getting geared up for what we're gonna perform here once we can get back to it? Absolutely. I don't stop gearing up, I'm always leaning in. <laughs> do you have any inklings, any any uh, teasers that you can hit us with? I do, I do, but I'm not, you can't share anything until you get the permission from the departments, like the people that have the rights for things. And then also it depends on when we go back, how we're going back. So different productions have different possibilities. So when we all know, you guys will know. Okay, well, let me ask you this. For okay. all of those thespians that are out there preparing and waiting and ready to get back on stage, should they be warming up their singing voice at all? Should they be working on their comedic timing? Or would you say that they should really be finding some some somber inspiration for what's to come. I would say yes. The best oh, yes, person is going to be well, yeah, because what you're doing is your question is a forced choice thing, and it would be <laughs> forced choice in saying which one are we going to be doing. Well, I can't answer you that. If I did, it would be a fib. And Ladies and gentlemen, Ed Heberlin, he cannot be coerced. Here we go. Well, that's just kidding. The, just the truth that's fine. That's fine. I've never met you before. <laughs> I mean, if you me, I go, oh, really? Um, <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Ed. We are really looking forward to it. Now let's go ahead and hear from our music department. Hello, Dr. Viscount. Thank you. Good morning. I'm actually going to, if it's okay, um, ask Frank to go first. He's going to share his screen and the art people are going to speak first, if that's okay. Absolutely. Wonderful. Uh, Take it away. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Frank Foster. I am chair of the art, uh, photography, and cart programs here at the college. Uh, we're presenting a short PowerPoint regarding not only the visual, but also the performing arts, uh, and uh, Karen will follow us. Uh, so we ask a question, are you a creative person? Uh, we know you are uh, waiting at home for the pandemic to end, which we all are. So why not take a class at VVC? Uh, you can engage with other people through these classes, learn a new skill, and uh, you're creating a healthy alternative to uh, dealing with this time. We do have an AAT and our classes are transferable to a four-year university. Uh, here are the people who will be presenting as well as uh, myself here at the top, Frank Foster, chair, frank.foster at vvc.edu. Please contact me for any questions. Christina Shelby, Chris Shelby, Chris.Shelby at vvc.edu. Uh, she is our lead faculty in photography. And then Anna Marie Vilos, Anna Marie.Vilos at vvc.edu. She is our lead faculty in art. And speaking of her, here she is. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for having the art department. I want to share some great opportunities that we have within the art department for students themselves. We are not only about sharing artwork within a class, but we want to do community outreach as well. So we are part of the One Book, One College, which is Washington Black. We participate in student activities in the arts for that. We also are part of the library zine workshop. We also have a biannual student art show that takes place at the end of every semester. All students participate in that. And for now we are having virtual shows because of the pandemic. So we have a website here at bbc-art.com. We welcome anyone to look at that. It's still live and it is from the fall semester. We also have photo clubs and art clubs. We like to have participation in that where we have students doing outreach within the community, within the local college setting and within just the department itself. And right now we're doing virtual club meetings. I just wanna show you guys some artwork from the students this past semester. So we have dry and wet media displayed here and a little bit of 3D as well. So there is again, a variety of classes that you can take at the college from drawing, painting, sculpture, photography, graphic design, and many others. So we please welcome and would love for you guys to participate in our courses. My name is Anna Marie Velos again, and I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it over to my colleague, Christina Shelby. She is the lead faculty for photography. 
Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the photography department here at BBC. Uh, we offer a number of classes from big, uh, film classes, working in the dark room, to digital photography, to intermediate photography. We also have Photoshop classes. Uh, environmental photography will be offered this semester, as well as portfolio development. We have a photography certificate of achievement here at the college, and we are always going to be offering classes that go toward this photography of achievement. Now, many students will ask why well, I have to have a camera to participate in photography classes, and the answer actually is no. Uh, we here at the department have been working on creating a BBC photography department equipment checkout policy. So we have film cameras, we have digital cameras, we have um, all kinds of photography equipment that you can check out from us for free uh, to participate in photography classes and to complete assignments. And this is free again for everyone to use. You will come to the campus to pick up the equipment and then you can have it for generally the week and then you'll be returning it. So it's a really great way to participate in classes if you can't quite afford a brand new camera right now. We also participate in the biannual art show here and here are some of our recent winners. And again, you can look at all of the participants at vvc-art.com. Uh, this art show will be up until February 16th and we invite you to come and take a look at it. Uh, if you have any questions about photography, please email me at chris, C-H-R-I-S dot Shelby, S-H-E-L-B-Y at bbc .edu. I look forward to having you guys come to our classes. Okay, Karen, uh, I'm leading, uh, handing it over to you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Um, I, as I've, I've already been introduced, but my name is Karen Miskell and I am the chair for the music department. Um, I'm actually going to ask Frank to reshare his screen. Frank, are you still there? Uh, yes. Can you guys share your screen still since we're continuing? There we go. Do you mind sure. hitting the next button for me? Thank you. Um, so we have two, uh, two full-time faculty in the music department and a bunch of other uh, professors as well. But myself, uh, Dr. Karen Miskell is the chair and then Brigham Welch, Professor Welch is in charge of our orchestras and our string program as well as a few other courses that he teaches. Um, and we are both um, here to get you all involved if you have ever had a desire to be a part of the music department. Um, Frank, can we go to the next screen, please, since you have it on your end? We do actually have a music degree for transfer in specifically music at BBC, which is exciting. We've only had it for a couple of years and it's really great if that is your alley that you are interested in, um, but it's also not something that you have to have um, to get involved in the music department. You can be um, a hobbyist, if you will. We have lots of different groups that people participate in that are all majors across the campus. Um, so if you're interested in the ADT or the AAT that we have, I encourage you to please reach out via email and we can walk you through that process a little bit more um, with the courses and things that you can take to get involved. Um, you can learn to sing, play piano or guitar. We have beginning courses and all of those instruments. Um, our instrumental program is a little bit more advanced um, and that would be something that you could email either myself or Mr. Welch on. Um, we have all kinds of history courses that are listed there, music in America history of rock and roll, history of jazz, as well as general history courses in music, um, both classical, jazz, otherwise we move through a lot of genres in our department. You can perform in an ensemble. We have three different choirs, two different orchestras, a uh, guitar ensemble, uh, um, three or four different bands, lots of smaller ensembles as well. Um, you can learn to recompose or read music for the first time. Any level of student in theory is welcome. Uh, musicianship, which talks about oral skills. Uh, we do have a music club. It's a little bit of a hiatus right now because of COVID um, and, and being remote, but it is an, another great way to get involved if you are just looking for more things to do on campus. Um, if we can go to the next screen, please, Frank. Awesome. So um, in the, the remote teaching that we're doing and in the time of COVID, our ensembles have taken a little bit of a different look. Uh, we've been creating virtual at-home videos and um, been a part of the One Book, One Campus project as well. Our ensembles uh, last semester looked at music and repertoire that had to do with historical time places and um, thematic material within the novel. 
And I thought maybe we could share a couple of the videos for you. Um, the first that we'll share, Frank, if you can, I'll, I'm gonna introduce it first, but the video on the um, right side of your screen is from College Singers. And we took a look at some um, spirituals and work songs that would have been associated with um, actual slave um, or the enslaved life on, as workers and music and how it was used. And so this is an example of a work song actually Wade in the Water specifically was used with the Underground Railroad in terms of a communication tool, a covert tool. Um, so if we can play that, just a little bit of it, it would be kind of neat. <laughs> Does audio work? Yes. Frank, I think you have to unmute yourself. example of some of the choirs that we did and how we put videos together. We have a former student actually that's been at doing editing for us. Um, it's been a really great uh, kind of an experiment <laughs> to do since most of us haven't done that before. Um, a lot of our singers did their own videos at their houses and then sent them to us. Some came at individually to campus to have those recorded. We also did them with our orchestra as well. So if we can play a little bit of that other video, this is summertime from... <laughs> there. Um, there's more videos and more to check out on VBC's website, either through the OBOC page or through the music department page as well. Um, and we'd love to see more people get involved. Like I mentioned, things look a little bit different during COVID, but we are still making music and we have a place for all different levels of ability or interest. Um, we would just love to get you involved. So please shoot an email my way or for to Mr. Welch, and we will get you involved however we can. Um, thank you very much.